Hey everybody. Hey, in a previous video, I made this uh, heated chicken water that goes inside my coop to keep it from freezing in the winter time. And I decided to upgrade it by insulating it a little bit better and just cleaning it out and, and reinstalling it for this season. I've used it for two seasons now and it's worked great. And I just wanted to update that build video to show how I insulated it and to report on the fact that it is working pretty good. So keep watching and I'll link to the other video where I build it up in the card here and also in the description. So this is the thermal cube. So this is typically used to control like a heat trace to keep pipes from freezing. Don't need that. Okay, so here's a better look at how it's made. It's just three inch PVC. It holds about a gallon, just over a gallon of water. Um, and I typically fill it up twice, twice a week during the winter. Uh, we have seven chickens. That's about how much they go through. And that's just making sure, because the heater sits down in this lower part, and you don't ever want this heater to get exposed. It could crack the glass. So I, that's just to ensure that it stays above that mark. So I'm just going to pull off this threaded cap here. I built it this way so I could open this up to get the heater out and to clean it out good. Maybe the heater will fit out that way even. So this little heater is, I believe it's just a 25 watt aquarium heater. I wanted to get the smallest one they had because like I said it's only a gallon of water and it's not going to take that much. But that aquarium heater is designed to keep your water at like 77 degrees. But that's you know typically for a tropical fish aquarium. I decided to use the thermal cube so that this temperature would stay around 40 degrees. That's all we need just to keep it above freezing. So when I put this back together I'm going to make sure this thermal cube is taped to the side of the to the pipe so it, it's picking up the heat from the pipe that so it control that um, on off switch inside the thermal cube get a little bit of bleach water and just clean this out and then start putting it back together so the new insulation that I got is just pipe insulation this is for one inch this is three inch pipe so I figured that probably about three of these to go around it. Um, they do make sheets of like Armaflex which would be the ideal way to do this but they don't typically sell that at the home stores so I wanted to, to show you a way to do this that you know all the material is readily available. So what I'm gonna do is just cut it so it's right to the end of the clean out and I'll go to about the center of the 90 and I'll cut this on a 45 and then just start piecing all these pieces together. So here you can see that I'm going to notch around the nipples, the watering nipples. Like so. The stuff is pretty sticky on the on the edges. I don't know how well that's going to work, so I also got this adhesive. I kept messing around with the with the glue and trying to stick them together on this bottom part, but then I decided, you know what, if I'm just going to tape the whole thing together anyways, just tape it down and then, and then start your next one. What I want to do though is notch around the thermostat. And then after I get it all up there and plugged in, I kind of want to cover that up with a little bit of foam to make sure it's really, you know, reading the, the temperature inside the pipe and not the air temperature. Because once that water in the pipe gets above 
40 degrees, that's when I want the heater to shut off. just use this little wing nut pipe stopper and I stick it in there that's just to close the hole off basically so what I'm going to do is just tape that down that's where my the cord of my heater comes out of and then this is the one where I fill it and that one I just have a plug made up that just slips in like so. Just gonna tape this cord down. Once again so the chickens don't think it's uh, some sort of treat for them and start pecking at it. Then it gets plugged into the thermo cube, like so. Then my other end here will get plugged into the extension cord. So I want to make a little tent like so, just to cover all that up. I'll just tape that down. Also. Okay, so that's uh, it's about ready to go back in. I'm gonna get some Teflon tape or some pipe dope or whatever I got available for these threads through the, and screw that back in, then hang it back up. Oh, hi chicken. in its place I think that looks much neater I think it's gonna hold the heat much better be more efficient just have to plug it in <laughs> zip it thanks for watching please subscribe <laughs>